All right, you guys, if you need a good book to throw in your beach bag this weekend, we've got it. We've got it. Mm -hmm. You can get it. You still have time. It's oh. called These and Possible Things by this month's Read with Jenna Book Club author, Sama El Wardani. Her debut novel is a story about the ties that bind us, our culture, our family, our loves, and our best friends. Oh, let's take a look. It seems not long ago, things were much simpler for Keys, Malik, and Jenna, three best friends bound together by the strong ties of childhood and their Muslim upbringing. The trio's college days were filled with young love, friendship, and the brimming anticipation of what life after graduation might bring. But as they step into adulthood, their choices suddenly seem to hold more consequence. Each woman must balance her individual happiness with her culture. These Impossible Things is a story of fierce friendship, following your heart, and finding the chosen family that's been there all along. And Salma is here. We've got a Zoom wall of your readers who can't wait to ask you oh. questions as well. There they are. But first off, can we just say cheers to your day? Yes. Novel. Thank you. You created this mocktail for us because after you read this book, you're going to want to get together with your girlfriends. You want to go for dinner with your girlfriends. You want to go out. You want to grab all of your girls. Mm. And I don't wow. drink. So I was like, this is like a virgin old fashioned. Yes. yes. And I am, um, you know, you guys have some good mocktails in yes. America as well. Yes. So. Very delicious. Okay. So, first of all, mm. talk to us about this book. I loved these three characters who mm. love each other fiercely and yet life sort of gets in the way. How did you come, come up with the... As it does with all of us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, life just pulls you in so many different directions. And I wanted to write a story that was about the power of female friendships. Because if you are a woman in this world, mm -hmm. in a world that is not that easy to be a woman mm -hmm. at all, you will know that your girlfriends that you have by your side, your ride or dies, the women who pick you up off the bathroom floor when you're crying on the mm -hmm. bathroom floor, which my girlfriends have done multiple times, mm -hmm. they're some of the most important relationships that yes. you have in your life. And we put so much emphasis in this modern day on romantic relationships and getting married and having babies. And if that's what you want to do, great, yeah. fine. But why don't we put the same amount of emphasis on our female friendships and the same amount of romanticism yeah. with our female friendships? Because they are the ones that we'll just enjoy. Like my girls, they've been around and a lot of men have come and gone. Yes. But the girls have right? been there. Yes. And I wanted to write a book that portrayed that because we don't see that a lot. No, we don't. And I love that. Me too. And I love that you called um, friendships chosen family because that's what mm. it really is, right? Like you're getting from your friends what you can't get from your aunts or your mothers. And you talk about the characters in the book giving stuff up for men. Yes. Why do you think that was important to speak on that? Because I think there's, again, there's this narrative that when you fall in love, and I mean, let's all blame Disney for this. Yeah. This is Disney's <laughs> fault, 100%, that it will all be worth it. And all the rom-coms, right? Like, mm -hmm. once you fall in love, love is the greatest thing and it will conquer all, right? But actually, and maybe I'm just bitter and twisted. <laughs> no, it's you're not. not. You're not. But actually, I remember reaching a point in my life where I thought, Love isn't enough, actually. There's loads of things that have to work for this relationship to work. And it's not going to conquer all, and it's not going to get rid of all your problems. And what if your family is so brilliant and you have such beautiful relationships with your family and your girlfriends and the life that you lead? Maybe you're the life you lead as a single woman. Yes. Because... It is amazing. Like, I was single for years and years and years and years and loved every yes. second of it. I yes. had an amazing time. Actually, there's a lot to give up. So mm -hmm. we should have a question mark. We shouldn't just, like, willy-nilly give it up. Well, that's what I loved about this book is that there's questions that stay <laughs> unanswered. And I think that's what life is. Right. Um, okay, but we have some viewer questions. Yes. Enough, Hit from me. our wall of Read with Jenna fans. First up is Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hello. Hello. Good morning. 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 The part of 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 the lonely resonates with me. This happened when they were apart, not speaking, and even involving their faith. Did this come from your own experience? Okay, so that was a little. Thank you, Cassie. Could you hear? So, did this come from your own experience about the faith? Right, and I think did you talk about loneliness? Yeah, loneliness. You talked about loneliness, right? That's what I heard in my ear. Um, yeah, so do you know what? Loneliness, and I believe loneliness is a really powerful thing. Mm. I think we don't talk about that enough because we're like, don't be lonely, find someone, find a guy to go home with, find someone to be in love with, even if they're not suitable, be with your girlfriend, but just don't be alone. But I think there is such power in loneliness. And I spent a lot of years lonely, but I really enjoyed it. And I think if you get lonely and if you dig down deep, you will find such 
beautiful things about yourself. I've traveled the world by myself. I've spent nights at home by myself. I've lived by myself. And there is loneliness that comes with that. But I think it's so incredibly powerful. And when these girls are lonely in the book, yes. and they do each have moments of such loneliness yes. when they're apart from one another, yes. I think it teaches them the lessons that they had to learn about themselves and about their friendship group. Sama, mm -hmm. first of all, we could talk to you for a Amen. million Amen. years, Sister, right? Yes. 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 everything. Let's all She's just stay here. Let's have we're drinks. In. We've got drinks. We're here. We're Let's in. do it. <laughs> Everybody, please check out these impossible things. I promise you, you will enjoy it. And if you are lonely, a great place to find yourself is in the book. Absolutely. Head today.com slash read with Jenna, and you can see Salma's book recommendations, too, which I'm dying we didn't get to at today.com slash shop.